Want to learn how to do some of those crazy moves from the Spider-Man basketball series? Today I'm going to give you 10 quick breakdowns of how to do a bunch of the moves from that series. Coach Jesse Minchu Get Handles Basketball where I show you how to play like the pros. If that's something you're looking to do, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon so you can catch the newest videos. Let's jump into these moves. The first move I'm going to break down for you is called Black Magic. There's some different names for it, other people might call it, but Black Magic is what I've always known it as, and it's a fake behind the back and a between the legs all in one dribble. Now throughout this video, I'm going to give you some kind of more difficult moves, some simpler moves, but most of them are going to be like one dribble moves. From there, you can kind of take all the moves and bring them together, combo them different ways. So the Black Magic, basically what it's going to look like is this. Okay, and all you're doing again is going behind the back and between the legs in one dribble. To do it, you want to bring the basketball all the way to the opposite side of your body. That's a big key. If you try to do it just bringing the ball here, it's going to be really tough. So make sure you get it all the way to your opposite hip and try to get it in front of that hip. Really extend the arm out, get the elbow straight on this arm, and then also you'll want to turn your shoulders a little bit. That'll bring the ball in position here where it's in front of your hip. If you don't do that, it's to the side, right? So just by turning your shoulders, we'll put the ball in front of you. From there, all you want to do is flick that wrist and curl those fingers in like this, okay? So that motion just like that. What that's going to do is keep the ball a little tighter to your body. If you don't do that, the ball just goes forward and it's going to be really hard to do the move. Once you release the basketball, and this is huge, the timing is big, you want to lift that leg, okay? So whichever hand's doing the dribble, that same side leg is going to lift and pass over the top of the basketball. When you get good at it, you won't need to step so much to the side with that step like this, and you can start doing it more directly forward. But that's when you get really good at that wrap motion. Next move is called the bounce back. This is a move you would want to do on a defender to fake them out, get them turning around to make them think you bounce the basketball behind them, and that's going to keep going that way. With this, you're actually going to bounce the basketball behind them. The key is that you get the basketball to come back to you, so as they're turning around, boom, they're not going to know where the ball is. Make sure that when you're doing this, it's quick, number one, and number two, that you're close to the defender. If you're really far from the defender, you're going to have a hard time getting the basketball behind their back. So get up and close, nice and close to the defender, extend your arm long so you can get it behind them, and really focus on that, again, wrist flick and the fingers curling in. That's a big key for a lot of these moves. That'll put some of that spin on, and the, it'll direct the basketball in that motion so it'll come back to you. That's the biggest thing to making it work besides that is to do it quick. If you bounce it slow, number one, it probably won't come back up over the defender because you won't have enough power on it, but number two, they might have time to turn around and see the basketball. You got to get it quick. So by the time that they're turning around, the basketballs hit the ground and are ready up here. So when they turn, it's out of their line of sight. I can't see the basketball right now. Same thing with that defender. You want to make sure you're popping it hard and quick. There's a modified version you can also do of this that's a little bit easier. Instead of putting it more over the top of their shoulder, you could come more to their side and put it behind their side like this and pop it more to the side so they think it is going to go this way and they turn around this way and as they're turning that way the basketball is going to come the other way. The only thing you would really change with that is you would just change that wrist motion a little bit to direct the basketball so you move it this way at first and then at the last second you flick your wrist coming back that way. Next move is a street ball classic, it's the yo-yo. So don't confuse this with the cut dribble. Some people call the cut dribble the yo-yo but that's actually not the right name. The yo-yo is this, okay? Kind of similar to the last move we just did, and a lot of times what you do with this is, like you're gonna fake a pass to a teammate, or in the instance a Spider-Man plays basketball, act like you're gonna pop the basketball off the defender's head. What you're gonna do for this, though, is extend the arm. So the big key I can give you is have your hand behind the basketball like this, not quite here, so it looks like you're gonna push it forward, right? A one-hand passing position. That's what's going to help sell that fake. From there, you want to just extend the arm so your elbow comes straight. And again, flick that wrist, curl the fingers in so it looks something like this. Okay? See how my fingers are pointing towards me? That'll make sure the basketball comes back to me. So after I extend it, it's going to be nice and tight to me so they don't really have a chance to get to it. If I don't do that, the basketball's way out here and they might have a chance to steal it. Okay, like I said in the last move, the cut dribble is like another fake pass. Before we get into it though, click the like button if you're digging the video so far. You could also use the cut dribble as almost like a fake crossover, right? 
So all you're gonna do is basically allow the basketball to stay in one spot in the air as your hand kind of rotates to the side of the basketball and rolls off your fingers and then it'll end up putting spin on the basketball. And you can play around with putting spin on more like this way. You can put spin on more sideways this way or you could even put it on more so it's spinning out. So you can kind of play around with it. But the big thing that's gonna really help sell it is adding a little step with the opposite foot and then looking in the direction that you're passing, whether it's at your defender or if you're playing in a game to a teammate. All right, the crazy legs. Originator of this move was actually a guy known Pat the Rock that I used to do some uh, different school assemblies and shows and stuff like this with, but a sick move. So what it's gonna be is like a double between the legs in one dribble. So, that's obviously pretty crazy, and the legs are gonna scissors, okay? To start it off, you're basically gonna go under the leg like this, okay? Now, usually when I see most players do this, they end up kind of carrying, they kind of have their hand come under the basketball, and it'll come under their leg, and then it'll rotate over at the last second. It's kind of like an inside out motion, but it's a little bit different. So, get it to that position there, so your hand is like this, but not quite on front of the ball, you want it a little bit to this side, okay? So left hand, right leg lifted, or if you're gonna do it the other way, just switch, switch everything around. You're gonna have to use, again, some wrist motion and finger curl, but it's not really your typical curl. This is gonna be different. It's gonna be more like the cut dribble, kinda. You're gonna put the spin on like that, okay? So it's gonna flick your wrist so it comes from here and bends back and rolls off your fingers and the ball is gonna come more straight down, a little bit to this side, you'll pull it back, but it's not gonna be too far. The key is lots of spin, so when it hits the ground, it'll come straight down, hit the ground, and come across, like that. So you might wanna just rep that out, going like this and getting it to come across. Once you got that down, you just come from this position, jump and switch leg positions, so as the ball hits the ground and that spin catches the basketball, it can come under the second leg. So it'll look like this, okay? As you get better at it, you can kind of bring the ball a little tighter so it doesn't come out as far to this side over here and keep it more here. And then it'll also be a little easier to get it to come across. You won't need to put as much spin on, but it might be hard to get that coordination down at first to do it that way because you're not giving yourself a lot of room to get the ball around this leg in time for your legs to scissors. So that's why at first, bring the ball wider and put a lot of spin on so you can put a big hop with your legs. Then when you get better, you can do it kind of tighter all in one spot. Next one's a pretty simple one to get down. It's an off the knee dribble. The key thing you gotta know is, typically when you do this, you're actually not gonna use your knee. It'll be harder to dribble the basketball with your knee and be in good control of it just for the fact that your knee is round, right? So when it hits it, it can go in all kinds of different directions depending on which part of your knee it hits. I mean, if it hits here, it's gonna go that way. If it hits here, it's gonna go down, right? So that makes it unpredictable. So instead, just try to hit right below your knee on the top of your shin area, okay? And it's just gonna look like this, okay? So usually the way Professor would do it in the Spider-Man Plays Basketballs, he would go from the yo-yo and then do a regular dribble right into that knee bop, that little knee dribble, okay? So just like that. You're just gonna drop it right down under your knee. Then from there, lift your knee up quick, okay? So right in front of your knee, don't lift it too soon because otherwise you're gonna do that. But just lift it slightly after, bop it off the knee, hit it back up. And once you get good at this, you could combo it in with different moves or you could combo it into multiple knee bounces and just keep dribbling with your knees like that. All kinds of stuff you can do with it. Great one to just kind of put in the mix with other moves though. Baseline behind the back. Big one on this is that you make sure you do it close to your defender and that you don't rush it. You'll probably want to be about 10 feet from the hoop, maybe even a little closer. And you can do it basically like a 45 degree angle from the hoop, even all the way down to the baseline, hence the name baseline behind the back. But the setup is key. So you're gonna start this basically left hand pushing the ball to the left side. Again, you can flip everything around if you want, just do everything the opposite. But you're gonna go into like a sham god motion with that opposite hand. So this opposite hand would normally go like this for the sham god, right? So instead of doing that though, you're just gonna turn your body. So that same hand positioning, you're just turning your body so the basketball comes behind your back right in front of the defender. And what you wanna do with this is one of two things. Either get them to think that they have a chance to steal the basketball, so they go reaching for it here, and then from there, you just go past them. Or B, make them think that you're gonna retreat back out to the perimeter so they kind of ease up and then boom. You just wanna make sure that you get that right angle 
with this foot. The same side foot as the hand that'll end up with the basketball here. You're gonna pivot forward to come in front of the defender. So it'll look kind of like this, here, 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 okay? And again, like I said, don't rush it, right? Do the actual dribble quick, but then put a little hesitation in here with this hand and keep your feet on the ground for a split second and then just work on getting that angle nice and tight to get past the defender. Nine times out of 10, you'll be able to beat him with this one though. The behind the back bounce back. This is sick move. Gonna be pretty tough to get down, but a lot of the key points are gonna come in that we've talked about already with some of the other moves, like the behind the back black magic, the bounce back, a lot of those keys are gonna come into place. So again, you gotta get close to your defender for this, and you wanna be kinda sideways like in a protection dribble. Whichever hand has the basketball is gonna be the one furthest from the defender, and from there, you're gonna bring the ball wide here, long, behind your back, rotate your shoulders, That'll get you so you can get the basketball more behind the defender. If you try to do it here without rotating your shoulders really, you're gonna have the ball to the side more so you won't get it behind them. And from there, they might be able to steal it and they'll be able to see it. The big thing that makes this work is getting the ball behind them again, right? So they can't see it, it's out of their line of sight. From there, same motion as the bounce back basically. So even though it's a behind the back, quote unquote, I mean, you're bringing it behind your back here, the same motion from that bounce back is going to apply. Flick the wrist, curl the fingers in towards yourself, and bounce it hard and fast so it'll come back to you on this side. And then when they don't know where the basketball is, they'll hear it bounce behind them. You're going to turn this way, ball comes back to you, they look foolish. All right, this next one's actually a multi-dribble move. It's one of the few, though, that he does a lot, so I felt like I had to break it down, and it's the spider dribble. Basically, you're trying to keep the basketball coming straight up and down under your legs, or maybe a slight side-to-side -side motion, and you're gonna go with a hand pattern of left, right in front of your body, left, right behind your body, and then repeat, left, right, left, right. Or you can flip it around and go right, left, right, left. But basically, it'll look like this, okay? You're just gonna tap it real low and quick, Try to keep your hands tight to your body and move them quick. That's pretty much all you need to know. All right, the boomerang. This might be the hardest one to get off and get down. Like the bounce back, you wanna be close to your defender and be able to get your arm past them. All those same concepts are gonna apply. What's gonna make this tricky though is the hand motion. What you're trying to do with this is, again, make the defender think you're making a pass behind them. I like to set this up by maybe throwing the basketball off the backboard and having it come back to me. So now when I go into the boomerang and bake that, there's a better chance they'll turn around because I've already done that move once to set it up. But all you're gonna do is have your hand come from the side of the basketball like this, bring it up high, you wanna have it come over your defender's head. So you want it to come over their head here or even further behind, again, because I can't see the basketball here and I definitely can't see it here. Same thing with your defender, you wanna get that basketball behind their head. From there, you're gonna have your hand rotate from the side of the ball as it's bringing it up, coming over the top of the basketball, like in an inside out motion, your inside out dribble, but up high. And you're gonna to continue to rotate though your hand, okay? So it doesn't just stop here, it's gonna keep coming under and then, like a lot of the moves, extend that arm, flick the wrist, curl the fingers, boom. You can pop the basketball to come back either straight up or ideally, you wanna to try to be able to get it down where it comes behind you. So that way if maybe you don't get the ball far enough behind your defender or something, or you don't pull it off quick enough and they see what's happening, the ball will land behind you so they can't steal it. But if you sell the fake well by looking forward, acting like you're gonna pass, and then putting that arm motion in, good chance you'll get it to go and get the defender turning around. Some other things that can take at next level is putting a little step in there, or sometimes guys will even jump with it to really sell that fake because really who's going to think the ball is going to come back to you once you went from that jump right it's almost for sure going to look like you're going to pass to someone or throw it off the backboard now if you thought these moves were crazy i've got some more insane moves for you they're completely legal but have a street ball style to them it's called the dragon bounce and then i've got some variations and combos from it you can get that by clicking the top link in the description down below pop in your email i'll send that to you instantly for free Hundreds of players have already got it. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Some crazy moves for you to take your game next level and just get some more oohs and ahs. And if you like the video and you haven't yet, make sure you click that like button, that subscribe button, and the little bell icon, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what else you wanna see from the channel. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you check out this video and this playlist. You're gonna dig those as well, I'm sure of it. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and make moves today.